Hi guys, so today I'm just going to do another classic game review and this game is a fun Indiana Jones game that was actually released all the way back in October 31st 1999 and um, it kind of follows in the same vein as the 96 release Tomb Raider a similar style of game but featuring Indiana Jones and it leads on from uh, LucasArts uh, earlier Indiana Jones games which were Monkey Island style point and click. So uh, the story or the intro to the game is 1947 the Nazis have been crushed, the Cold War has begun and Soviet agents are sniffing around the ruins of the fabled Tower of ba Babel. What, the, what are they up to? The CIA wants renowned archaeologist and adventurer Dr. Henry Indiana Jones Jr. To find out. Grab your whip and fedora and join Indy in a globe spanning race to unearth the mysterious infernal machine. Um, yeah, so a really fun game. I have fond memories of playing this with my buddy way back when I was still at secondary school. Um, he would, I, I recall him being stuck on it and I came round his house. And before long, we were progressing pretty fast because, I don't know, I kind of tend to be quite good at these games. If you remember maths class from school, this is basically 3D problem solving. So let's uh, move into the game. The strong points. I like the cartoon graphics. They are dated with low res textures. Also, the floor and fauna is tiny in comparison to a modern game. You must take into the account that the game was made at that time in the most megabyte RAM and Windows 98. So the game is very much an action-adventure genre game, uh, similar to Tomb Raider, or more recently, the Uncharted series. Personally I actually like a lot of games from this era more so the modern versions of popular franchises. I sense a trap. adventure filled with puzzles galore a mixture of human enemies with guns and booby traps and also as with any action adventure uh, puzzle game like Tomb Raider you have the usual contingent of lethal and less lethal animals The bright and functional graphics are met with a slight caricature of Indiana Jones. All characters in this game have enlarged heads that sit on bodies slightly out of scale. It is what you would call a caricature and it actually works pretty well. I, I don't mind it. Um, as I said, the graphics are very basic but in many ways they're more enjoyable than modern games. So the puzzles in the game are certainly not easy. When I played through the game I refused to search the net to fix any puzzles. It is more fun and rewarding to figure out the red herring from the key ancient mechanisms or the treasures from the items with supernatural power. As you get through the game, and it takes a while, but you start to pick up these artifacts that are linked to what's called the Infernal Machine, what's this? which boils down to several boss battles towards the end of the game. Now, these power-ups actually help you in certain ways, such as being able to go invisible or to travel upwards. So one of the uh, flaws, I guess, if it is a flaw, 
is that the puzzling, uh, the puzzles in the area can start to be a bit of a drag and similar, but I think uh, it's combat pretty well by the amazing um, scenery and just the brilliant detail of the levels. My Nebuchadnezzar's library, maybe. Shh, don't disturb the patrons. Well, that's easy. They've been dead for thousands of years. It's all been lovingly modelled, and in fact, there are a bit. Of, there is a bit of variety in the gameplay, as you have sections where you are river rafting, or the classic Indiana Jones uh, minecart chase. It's done in a way where you have to use different weapons, different items, the power-ups that I just mentioned, and it it uh, it doesn't give you the answer on a plate. And oftentimes, I would get stuck for a little while, and then eventually, uh, you see the solution, which is just just inherently uh, rewarding to play. Uh, any negatives? I think there are a few glitches in the game, so it's a good idea to save more than once and save often. This is the good old games version that I'm playing, and I recommend you play the same. Um, but even so, the graphics are a little bit dated, but uh, it really depends what kind of abstraction you are comfortable with. I actually like the graphics in this game, even though they're basic. Um, they're just really solid, sturdy, and have uh, a style all of their own. Now, I also reviewed Tomb Raider 1 on my channel previously, and that was a very long game. And I thought I'd seen a long action-adventure game. Boy, this game is pretty long. Um, there's a lot of arenas. Uh, every level takes time, and I mean time to complete. You're, you're not going to finish this game quickly unless you are Look cheating or you're very, very good at these games. It's, uh, it's a long game and it has a lot of puzzles that take a lot of head scratching. Some are easier than others. Some you might get straight away, whereas others are very complicated. So, as with any Indiana Jones feature, there is a good story in this. It's kind of switched from the Nazis of the film uh, Raiders of the Lost Ark to uh, Russian uh, communist troops based in uh, the sort of uh, 50s or 60s era. And, of course, you're racing these uh, the Russians and uh, the American CIA on the other side are uh, racing for you, between you and Indy, for these artifacts, or wonders, so to speak. I won't give too much away, but it's a fun little story, very basic really, and the characters are fun and cartoony. I do like the uh, Russian uh, general, he's a funny, uh, plump-looking little man, and, uh, you know, it's, uh, it's, it's neat. One thing I really like is the how all the, the environment rules. interacts you when you uh, set a puzzle off, how the stones nicely grind, and the cut sequences in between are uh, great, like little rewards when you work out a particularly like complex Don't puzzle, worry, you get to sit cops. back and no, enjoy all the switches else. and bells and whistles sort of <laughs> grinding into place. One I particularly like is uh, this little uh, sort of cockerel that collects water and puts it into a stream. You can imagine something like this uh, being built in real life. A very simple mechanical uh, mechanism that basically repeats itself to infinity or until someone puts their arm across to stop it. These neat little touches are brilliant and this game, in a ho in general, the art of the game and the gadgets and the traps and everything has all been done with care and attention. It's just such a, a well put together game.
particular it's just a small thing but it's very good in this game so any bad points as well uh, well it's not an easy game um, if you're not using a walkthrough and I never ever use a walkthrough it'll take a little time some levels you're definitely gonna get stuck also the game is uh, not easy in terms of enemies uh, a lot of the time the enemies are very strong and it's easy to run out of uh, health packs you get a limited amount of health packs another thing I guess is like the uh, repetition of just doing puzzles and shooting enemies um, it's not really that much of a problem but if you're not really into that genre you're not really going to enjoy this because although it has driving and larger shooting sections it's not really a uh, a twisted metal for the driving or you know a doom doom 2 for the shooting parts it's just a action adventure puzzle game with some driving some river rafting and some sections where you are kind of going a bit uh, like uh, Duke Nukem through as the ever present Russian soldiers come in at least halfway through the level and then usually at the end throughout um, so yeah but um, of course because it's an indie f John Jones franchise game the John Jones universe is really neat there's lots of like little easter eggs in there and overall like honestly I thought this was like um, when I first played this I actually played it around my friends around two th the year 2000 and I always sort of thought it's pretty good I was pretty impressed but I don't know if it's as good as Tomb Raider but having played this version again um, I'd say it's it's on a par with Tomb Raider maybe slightly below maybe slightly below but, but pretty good LucasArts have done a good job so I'm gonna give it I think the best score is 8.5 if you like this kind of game, you know, taking time, working things out, and being rewarded for it with neat little cutscenes and so on. Brilliant game, you'll enjoy it. Cheers, guys.